Aloha and welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. We believe at Deep Adventure Ministries that the most radical thing you can do in life is abandon yourself to the wild adventure of God's will. So we invite you, women, go grab your men and say, listen to this. This is really cool stuff. Fathers, grab your sons and say, come listen to this with me. We have more and more fathers and sons listening to this show together. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. I've, I heard there was a marathon. I had just run two half marathons, and I had never run a full marathon. And I thought, what the heck? I'm in Rome. I've got my running clothes. There's a marathon. My longest run in my life was 13.1 miles, but I was going to double it that day. So I signed up on Friday. I ran it on Sunday, and I flew home on Monday. But what was it like? Where, where did the where did the route take you? It must have been really it, it cool. Was, it was. The, the thing is, because there was the conclave, they routed it away from the Vatican. Mm-hmm. But uh, the second marathon I ran was on John Paul's canonization weekend. Mm. And 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 that was exhilarating because we went right past the Vatican. I, you know, yes, me my funnest marathon. My funnest was probably my first New York City marathon because two years ago, because the there are one million people that come out to cheer people on at the. Oh New York my goodness! Marathon. The yeah. energy of Brooklyn is extraordinary. Yeah, so Pope Benedict was one of the key drivers of of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. And, uh, and and through the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, um, so now, rich. There are a lot, you know, under, it, interestingly, there are a lot of bishops that said, "Holy Father, we don't need a catechism. It's a modern era." And and he pushed back and said, "No, we do." And the faithful responded by making it an international bestseller. <laughs> it, it, I mean, this is a book that that you don't read this as a novel, right? I mean, it's 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 kind of detailed. You should read it. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. It, it's something you read in bits and pieces. Right. But it became an international bestseller in English, in French, in Spanish, in well, Portuguese. The history of the catechism is going back to the Didache, right? Around the year 70 AD, the little short little booklet that, that, that they would teach people who wanted to be uh, catechized. And then you saw different different versions of it, the, 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 the council. I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell. 